hello welcome to my channel and if you're new here we talk about living your healthiest lifestyle and taking care of your home to the best of your ability so that is what we post on here this is specifically a meal planning meal prepping grocery shopping video i do a big grocery shop once a month so today we're going to costco and that's what this video holds. So without further ado, let's just jump right on into this video. I'm going to start by making a grocery list. I am going to do it fast and quietly because I'm running late to meet my mom and because my puppy is asleep. So I'm not going to talk, but I'm going to make a grocery list real fast. making a grocery shopping video. <laughs> I need to go get the chicken. Get the chicken. Where? What happened to this? Bro, they're putting it on quarantine. <laughs> we lost our mom. I'm, I'm actually on the verge of tears. Watch out, watch out. <laughs> they bought the, the, the haunted house. Yep. Is that okay with you? I'll let them know. Oh, we're going in the twister. Ah. <laughs> so you saw us go grocery shopping. Me and my brother were just messing around in Costco. Then I came home and absolutely crashed because I've been going all day and I was exhausted. Now I'm gonna do a little haul of what I got from Costco. So let's start with what's in front of me. Brussels sprouts. This big block of cheese, Parmesan cheese. Some everything bagels. Tortilla chips. Potatoes. This big thing of paper towels. I got garlic butter shrimp. It got totally beat up in the car. Then I got sesame bagels. You have to get two when you buy bagels from Costco. Got these Alfredo sauces, butter. I got this pack of chicken. I got these resealable OXO boxes. Cause I've been, I just needed three more to complete my set. Then I got this kitchen tool set because we've been looking for something like this actually. And this is like in the perfect cream color. So it's what I wanted. Then I got this block of cheddar cheese. We only do block cheeses at our house. Then I got Poppy variety mix. I got a LaCroix variety mix. I don't want to look that up. Then I got these big chews for Winston. Hopefully they last in a long time. Got this jar of pesto and this bag of cane sugar. You're probably thinking I'm missing a lot of fruits and veggies. That's because I buy those locally. So I'm going to go tomorrow or Thursday to go buy those fruits and veggies. So I'll show you that part. But for now, let's put all these groceries away.
a few days later and I'm finally finishing my grocery shopping. It's been an absolute crazy few days so that's why it's taking me a while but it's Friday. I'm gonna finish the list that I had for Costco and we're gonna go to a local store that has produce, plants, I don't know, meat, dairy. They have like a lot of locally produced things. So we're gonna go there and then I may stop at Target for like body wash, deodorant, things like that. So let's finish the grocery shopping finally. successful first stop I would say however while I was walking around I remembered that my brother is coming over early next week to make carne asada fries so I need to get the stuff for that so I think I'm gonna place an order at Kroger and just pick it up because I don't want to walk around another grocery store so anyways, I'm gonna place that and then I'm also gonna go to Target right now for the other things that I mentioned. I'm back home now, wanted to share what I got. First I got this cornmeal, that sounds random, but Someone told me that if you set out cornmeal, it kills ants, and we have a bad ant problem. So, I would love to get that figured out. Bananas. Asparagus. Cucumbers. Broccoli. Kale. Strawberries and tomatoes. And I got milk, which is in the fridge already. Of course, from Target, I got things I didn't need, but we did need some light bulbs. I got a travel size deodorant and a normal size deodorant because I'm about to go on a trip next week. And my regular deodorant is gone, but I always get Tom's and they stopped selling Tom's at my Target. So I don't know what's up with that because I'm sad. I got this little candle just for decoration, not to light because I think it's cute. And then this, I'm going to do a little project on this and I'm going to film a TikTok, but it was a little $5 box. I want to make a recipe card box and that's what this is going to be for. So all of the recipes that I have found on Pinterest, I'm going to put on little cards and put them in here so that I don't just search for them all the time. And I just think it's a cute little keepsake. How adorable. I may paint the little box, we'll see. Also, I got these frames because I am doing some house redecorating right now. And lastly, I broke our lamp a year ago and I've not found a lamp that I liked and was affordable until today. So this is a $20 lamp from Target, but it's so sweet and it's cute. And I like the color, especially for fall time, that brown. Now we got to wash all of our fruit and veggies and put them away. I always do this because I think it's important. So I'm gonna start by probably washing the strawberries. Actually, I'll just show you all of it. You'll just see all of the washing.
Are you okay? Winston loves the cucumbers. Yeah, you love them. What a fun little treat. in my office now because I'm gonna do the last part of this video which is the meal planning and I'm gonna use this so this is a weekly planner I got a while ago I haven't used it since I got my really nice planner so I thought this would be good to meal plan on I've used notion and some other things to meal plan but I think I would rather just do it like this so I want to focus on using up items that are gonna go bad first. So I'm gonna meal plan probably for maybe two weeks at least and then I can do some more in the middle of the month but I wanna use everything that's gonna go bad. So let's write down all of that and I will explain it to you. what I came up with so we have a rotation of breakfast that I normally eat bagel and cream cheese acai and overnight oats then the weekend I will be out of town so those areas is when I'll be gone lunches I normally eat leftovers so that's easy dinners are gonna be hamburgers and fries carne asada fries I'm making with my brother He's coming over and we're going to make it, so we'll see. Date night, crock pot, chicken, parmesan soup, Pinterest recipe. And then, of course, gone. And then the week after that, I am gone on Monday still. The breakfast, bagel and cream cheese, overnight oats, avocado toast, bagel and cream cheese, all of that, you see. For lunches, I have a work lunch on one of the days and then... 
We also have a work thing, so we may eat out that Friday for dinners, date night, garlic parmesan pasta with asparagus, broccoli, cheddar, chicken, rice casserole, tacos, pork chop, rice and Brussels sprouts, and then we're going to be out with our church on that Sunday night. So this is the planning that I'm done. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and if you enjoyed it, Make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel. Let me know of any other video ideas you'd like to see from me because I love to do this for you and I will see you whenever I see you next. Bye guys.